All right, now we're going to look at OTP implementation, which is a reversing problem. We are given two files, OTP and flag.txt. So I've uh, got OTP here in Ghidra, a reverse engineering tool by the NSA that you can download. I'm looking at the program in main. And so what we see here is that we have something that's going to take a argument off the command line. It's going to look at the valid characters. So let's take a look at that quickly. So it looks like valid characters here are lowercase a through f or 0 through 9. So basically hex digits in lowercase. And that's going to do some sort of like jumbling of them. I could do some reverse engineering of that, but that might be a bit tiresome. In any case, it seems to take in a character and spit out a character. And then does some more work. Eventually, it's going to come down here and do a string comparison. And it's going to compare the output of this jumbling to this 100 character string. You can see the 100 character string right there. So I need to get 100 characters right. So we can download the executable. And I've, I've got that on my machine here, so we'll run that. And what we know is that it's going to do the string comparison. So I can set a breakpoint at string compare. And so we need 100 characters. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now we'll look at the strings. The strings on a 64-bit machine are going to be passed in registers RSI and RDI. So that MNJ or MNG, we saw that, right? That's here in Ghidra. So it looks like my first character does not match. So I can try some different things. I can, there's only 16 possible characters. Let's look at what happens. So when I put in a one, that A became a C. I need it to be an M. There's an E. So it looks like it's maybe going up by two letters each time. So let's see, let's go maybe five. So give me a K, L, M. So maybe if I just do a six, that'll give me the first character right. All right, so my first character is right. It looks like my second character is still wrong. And I could work through this um, you know, 100 times. That would get a bit tedious. So I've written a little bit of a program here that will solve this for me. So what this program does, it's written in Python. It's going to just call GDB, set that breakpoint at string comparison, my set of possible characters are those 16 hex digits. I need to do this 100 times. I run with whatever amount of the string I figured out so far, plus I'm looping through those 16 characters, and I'm just sending ones for all the remainder. Then when I hit my breakpoint, I look at RSI and RDI, and I see if they match. If they match, I found a character that is part of my solution. I'll break out of this inner loop looping over the characters and I'll repeat until I get all 100 of them. So if I do G, or excuse me, Python solve proc.py, it should start running here. It's got that six that I figured out manually, 6.8, six, 6.8c, eight, six, eight and then we'll just pause this while it gets through the 100 characters. Okay, so our script has finished up and we now have our full 
text here. It says that this needs to be XORed with flag.txt. So I'll grab that text. And I've got a handy website here that's going to help me do the XOR. So I'll put that in there. And get flag.txt. We will, so we don't need new lines. We don't need that. Okay, and here is our output in hex. We'll then come over here. We'll have a nice website that will convert that to ASCII for me. And there we have our flag. Custom jumblers aren't a good idea.